When it comes to inserting an image into your report, it's really simple. In fact, I want to insert my company's logo in the upper right hand corner. Now when it comes to you doing the exercises on this uh, DVD, I'm not going to have my logo on there, but I will have an image for you because I don't want my uh, logo copied throughout the entire world. So let's come up here, right click, go to the design view, and then to insert the image, there's two ways you can do it. One way I don't like, and that's coming up here on the design tab to the controls group, clicking on the more button. You see the image right there, the button. When you click on it, you get a plus sign when you hover down below, and you can see the icon next to it saying, okay, when you click here, we're going to insert an image of your choosing. So when I click here, it opens up a window and it says, okay, where's your image? Well, I know my image in the exercise folder on the desktop, but when I'm in the exercises folder, it doesn't show anything in that folder. I know I have files within that folder. The reason why it's not showing is because it's looking for a particular type of file or file type, a Windows meta file. Click on the drop down arrow and say that we want to see all files. So I have the books image for you, but for me, I'm going to insert my Dreamforce logo, double click on it, and when I do it, Ugh, that just looks horrible. I mean, if I right click and go to report view, it's not going to change. Let me right click and go back to the design view. So let me delete that. And like I said, the better way to insert an image so it's clear that I find quickly is to come up here on the design tab over here to the insert image, click on the drop down arrow, click browse. I'm in the same folder exercises, but it's looking for a different type of a file, a bitmap. Click on the drop down arrow and say that we want to see all. And there's my uh, Dreamforce logo. It's a ping image file. Double click on it. Come over here. You can see the plus sign and then the image down below where my pointer's at. Click on it and boom. I mean, wow, looks so much better, doesn't it? In fact, if it doesn't quite fit within the box, you may want to resize your image outside of access. But there's some things I can show you in case if you don't want to do it and you have to work with the image. For example, when you hover over one of these handles, the bottom right hand corner, you see my pointer turns into arrows pointing in opposite directions. You can click and drag it to shrink it in or stretch it open. And if it looks fuzzy and you're like, boy, I'm not sure what the original image size is like, but that's what I like because I don't want to stretch it so it's fuzzy or shrink it up so it looks blurry, go ahead and double click on it. It opens up the property sheet and then looking over here, we're looking at the size mode. The image is zooming to fit in the box. You can click on the drop down arrow. You can stretch it to fit the box. So now it's stretching in all directions, so more vertically, so that looks awful or click on the drop down arrow and do clip. That means, let me go ahead and close out, is that if I start stretching the box, it's going to start cutting off instead of compromising the uh, quality or the original look of the image. So if I hover over that right middle handle till I can see my pointer turning into arrows pointing in opposite directions and I click and drag, see how it's cutting it off? It's not having it zoom in to fit so it looks kind of blurry or stretching it out so far that it actually uh, looks fuzzy. So then I can just leave it as clip and then kind of well resize it so yeah, that looks pretty good just as long as it doesn't cut it off right and then since I have this extra space below I can hover over the top page header bar till my pointer turns into black arrows pointing up and down then I can click and drag that bar up everything comes up with it and well let me click and drag this over to the right here I don't know about right there and then go to my report view to see what it looks like come up here click on the uh, view button for report and Hey, it looks pretty good, except it's got a white background. It's not transparent. Well, we can fix that. Let's go ahead and right click, go back to the design view. With it selected, come up here, click on the format tab, go over to the control formatting group, click on the shape field drop down arrow, and let's do transparent. It looks so much nicer. Okay, let's check it out. Right click, report view. Yes, definitely a keeper. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.